Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here with a guide for the mastery challenge at Odin's Mine, the trial of the wolf. This was the most difficult trial for me, and I attempted it dozens of times before getting the gold medal. So it is not easy, but there are a few tips I'd like to share that may help. And for my walkthroughs of the other trials, see my playlist linked on screen and in the description below and subscribe to get my latest guides and gameplay. So the basic idea is to shoot the weak point and then headshot for all of the enemies. I usually start out by getting the two archers on this front platform and then climbing up to get the three on the upper platforms. For the archers, the weak points are either gonna be on their right arm or left arm the other enemies, they'll be on their right foot or left foot. And if one of these three archers on the platform falls off the platform and kills himself before you can kill him with a headshot, I usually just start the trial over again if I'm going for the gold. Because if you get all the weak points and headshots of these five enemies, that'll put you in a stronger position for the rest of the trial. And you'll know you've done that because you'll have 165 points like I have here. So if you have 165 points, you've gotten all the possible points from that beginning part of this trial. I like to climb up to get this enemy here because I found trying to shoot him from the ground was pretty hard to get the headshot. In general, that's one of my biggest tips is move around to get a good angle for your shot, whatever works for you. If you like being close to the enemy, far from the enemy, above, below, however you find it easiest to hit these weak points, move around until you get a good angle. And to get these feet, sometimes I will use the ability, focus of the Nornir, to slow down the melee enemies carrying swords in order to give me a better chance to shoot their legs and then get the headshot as I did right there. I only use focus of the Nornir like I did right there on the melee enemies with the sword and shield. I find it doesn't work as well on the archers. Another thing to look out for is the oil pots in this cave. If you hit the oil jar, it'll explode and could set the enemy on fire. And then there's a chance the enemy would die from fire damage instead of from your headshot. So you want to be careful to avoid shooting the oil jars. The other way you could possibly catch an enemy on fire is with a fire arrow and even though you don't intend to shoot a fire arrow I find sometimes if Eivor gets hit with a fire arrow like the one that enemy on the platform there is shooting sometimes getting hit with a fire arrow can set Eivor's arrow on fire so if I see myself on fire I'll maybe shoot an arrow into the wall just to avoid shooting the fire arrow at the enemy and with that Archer, I like to climb up to the platform to get the headshot. And you'll notice that I am regenerating some health after taking damage. That's because this gameplay was recorded after the 1.3.0 title update, which added new skills, including Eden's Heart, which allows Eivor to regenerate some of the health lost during combat without using a ration. So that was one of the things that finally allowed me to complete this trial. So if you weren't able to complete it before, you might wanna try it again after you've acquired the Eden's Heart skill because getting additional health allows me to just take it a little bit slower maybe not worry so much about getting hit. So that made a big difference for me. The other new skill you'll see Eivor using here is 
Light Fingered, which is in the Raven skill tree, which lets you basically auto loot. You'll pick up loot from nearby enemies by just walking close to them without being prompted. So that especially helps in this part of the trial because there's a few enemies around and I like to collect their loot as quickly as possible after killing them just in case they have rations that are going to help me heal. And here I'm just running backwards <laughs> to avoid getting surrounded by too many enemies. So that's another tip. You can run backwards as much as you want and the melee enemies will generally chase you so that could be a strategy to isolate the melee enemies. Although it didn't work too well in that case because I think that enemy just died of fire damage instead of a headshot unfortunately. But as I said, you can miss a couple and still get gold. So I just have to stay focused for the rest of the trial and try to get as many headshots and weak points as possible on the remaining enemies. And here I'm going around to try to get a better angle on these two archers since I was having trouble getting their weak points from that other position. Oh, unfortunately, shot him and didn't get a weak point or a headshot. Let's see if I can get the weak point here. Yes. Weak point and headshot. And then I'm going to auto loot those dead bodies. So things are looking pretty good here. I've got almost all my health. I've gotten a lot of weak points and headshots. And there's two more areas in this mine. And again, I'm running backwards to isolate the melee enemy and using focus of the Nornir to shoot his legs. And then after stunning him, can shoot his head. Trying to get that final headshot. There it is. The Arbalist, who I'm going after there, the enemy with the crossbow, even though he's not a melee enemy, he has a crossbow, but his weak points are on the legs, just like these enemies with swords. So the reason I sometimes dodge right as the enemy is about to attack me because if you just run backwards, the enemy will keep chasing you. But if you stand your ground and wait for the enemy to start to strike and then dodge backwards, you can sometimes turn around and shoot the enemy in the head. And there I got the brush with death triggered. Brush with death skill will slow down time if you do a well-timed dodge. So that's another thing you can try to help get the headshots. I'm having a difficult time <laughs> getting this guy, but there he is. I'm just going around here to make sure I didn't miss any dead bodies or rations. Oh, there's one. So now I'm at full health. I'm at full health, full adrenaline. And I'm moving into the final area of this trial. Where there are several enemies, and I knew at this point I was really on the borderline of being able to get all my weak shots and headshots, so I was using focus of the Nornir here to try to get the weak points.
Here there are a few enemies on the ground and there's a couple up on the platform. And once unfortunately, one of the enemies on the platform somehow fell and killed himself before I could get the headshot. That didn't happen here, but that can be very frustrating when you're really close to getting all the points and then an enemy commits suicide. That's one thing about these trials that I thought was kind of interesting that nowhere else in the game did I notice enemies falling off things and killing themselves, but suddenly here in these mastery trials, they have a death wish. <laughs> or I just got my last weak point hit. So I've gotten all the weak points. Now I just have to go for headshots. And at this point, I wasn't sure if I had enough enemies left to get all my headshots. And so I actually want to check my scoring. If you go to the pause screen, you can see how many points you've gotten. And I see that I've almost gotten all my headshot kills. And so now I'm excited because I know if I can just get this last two headshots, I'm going to get the gold. So I'm being really careful. In fact, I just kind of let myself get stabbed in the back while I'm focusing on getting that archer above. And now I just have to get a headshot on this standard bearer. And now I'm checking to be sure. I just need one more headshot on this standard bearer and I will finally get the gold. So the pressure's on, but just gonna take my time. And initially here, you'll see I am trying to dodge the standard bearer's attacks and then run and then shoot him, which didn't end up working so well. So then I realized, well, even though I don't need any more weak point hits, if I can hit the weak point on his arm, then I'll stun him. And that'll make it easier to get the headshot. So that's what I ended up doing right here. Or trying to do. I actually missed the weak point there, but I'm going to get it right there. And now I have a clear shot at the headshot to finally complete the trial with a gold medal. And there it is. I was so excited when I finally got this. And there is a gold medal run of Odin's Mine Hideout, Trial of the Wolf. Thanks for watching. Check out my other walkthroughs of the Mastery Trials. And subscribe to get more guides and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is Amber. I will see you in the next one.